Hey guys, it's Jax here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build an awesome starter cactus farm for your Minecraft world. Here is the design of this starter cactus farm. Now, as you guys can see, it doesn't use too many resources at all, so it is a perfect starter farm for your Minecraft world. As well as this, if you put this in your world and then want to get more cactuses later, you can stack more layers on top of this, and I will be showing you guys how to do that. Now, this here uh, farm uses a very simple mechanic to harvest the cactus. I'll be going into that later. But as you can see down here, it harvests them pretty quickly. This has been running for about half an hour and has gotten 23 cactuses down there. Now I suggest building this farm near somewhere where you're going to be spending a lot of time, so near your base, so it is constantly loaded and is getting the cactuses, especially if you haven't got it fully upgraded. And this way you'll be getting loads of cactuses when you're not even trying to or not having to AFK there. It'll just be rendered in and work it away in the background. The materials you'll need for this farm will appear on your screen now. Make sure to grab all of these and remember if you want to make this farm any taller, you're going to have to grab some more sand, some more cactuses and some more fences as well as that, some more building blocks. Okay, so this cactus farm works off of the basic mechanic that a cactus will break when a block is placed next to it. Um, and we use this to force a cactus to grow into a position where it'll have to be broken. So it'll grow into a position where either the fence, a wall, or a glass pane of some sort will break it. Or you could even use a sign here if placed correctly, but that is the more older fashioned way as we can now use fences. Now all three of these have their pros and cons, so let's start off with this wall. The wall is wide enough to where if the cactus breaks it won't be thrown to the other side, but because of how deep it is like this and how far it sticks out, there is a chance that the cactus bounces off of this wall and then lands on the original cactus, therefore destroying the item. A glass pane on the other hand, like this, is great because it drops straight down like that, but it is really thin so it can be thrown across to the other side um, if luckily, unluckily gets thrown in a weird direction. Then if we come to the fence here, it's sort of the perfect middle ground where it is thin enough to where it'll just drop straight down and it won't touch the cactus most of the time, 90% of the time. It's also wide enough to stop most of the cactuses from going across to the other side. So I, in my world, tend to normally use fences, but there is one other option. You can use connected glass panes. Now this is great, however, it is a little bit more tedious to place because I, if you do use glass panes, you have gotta go right around like this because that's what makes it worth it because these connected glass panes will stop the cactuses from being thrown and touching any other cactuses like this. So it's almost like a safety shield. So you'd have to come right around like this and wrap it around so it is a bit more tedious, but it could be worth it. But for a starter farm, I just suggest going with um, some fences because they are easy to get and quick to place. Okay, to start this cactus farm, we're gonna be placing a double chest like this with a hopper going into the top of it. Now come up and come four blocks out with any sort of block to each side of this hopper. Then connect these four blocks out like this, connect these four blocks like this and create four small squares that should connect up to make one bigger square. In total this should be a nine by nine platform when we're complete. Now with any sort of block, we're going to be adding a small rim around this. I'm going to start off by going too high like so. Now again, if you want to make this any bigger, this farm, by raising it up more, you'll have to raise these walls as well. You can use any sort of block here. I like to use glass to make so I can watch the cactuses grow and break, as it is pretty satisfying. Now that we've got that, we want to come in the middle, and on the glass blocks on in the corners, place four water buckets. If you've done everything correctly, it should flow perfectly and stop right at this hopper here. So this is what we should have so far. Now starting in one diagonal block in from the corner, place sand on every single second block like this. You should end up with four rows of sand. Now that you've got this, we want to grab out some scaffolding blocks of any sort, so I'm just going to use a bit of stone. Then, like I mentioned earlier, we can use either glass panes in a full protective way like this, um, fully protecting the cactus, or simply we can just use fences. And we just want to place these one up to in between these um, sand. 
So one up like so on a block. Then we want to break the block. And we want to do this on two sides with the fences. We don't have to do it in the middle. But if you're doing it with a glass, you want to fully cover it um, so you can get the full worth of the glass and lose and um, the extra drops. Now we can come in, grab our cactuses and fill this farm up. Now you don't have to fully fill this farm up straight away. If you only have one cactus or even four cactuses, you can start off with that and then harvest them and replant it until it is full. It's a great thing about this farm. If you want to stack this, it is really simple. All you have to do is grab out any sort of slab or block of your choice. I suggest using a slab just because you save resources. Come up one block like this on these fences, one to the side and place a slab. And then you want to just sort of create this pattern like so directly above all of these cactuses. So you're sort of uh, elevating all of these up. Then once you've got that, you want to place your sand on top of these slabs like so. And you just want to sort of repeat what you did down there, except you don't have the water. Um, but you also want to add in the fences and raise the glass up. So now you guys know how to build an awesome starter cactus farm that can even be used for late game if you add a few more levels and upgrade it a little bit. So that's going to be the end of this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment and remember to subscribe if you're new. And if you want to support me a little bit more, make sure to check out my Patreon and I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.